Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot. My name is Shannon Colleen, and I am a Taurus Sun and Venus. Um, we're going to do the monthly reading for April. However, I'm going to do it differently. So for those of you who have been with us for a long time, thank you. If you're new, thank you for joining. Um, but normally we do, it's Taurus all Taurus all the time, right? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. However, for the April readings, I just felt this need from Spirit to do them separately. So this will be for the Sun sign Taurus. I will be doing the Moon sign separately, the Rising Taurus separately, Venus Taurus separately, and North Node, okay? And then tell me in the comments if you like this format, all right? Whew, I also want to say very quickly for those of you, I had a comment on one of the videos that said, you know, one of the improvements would be if I didn't tell people about private readings and Reiki sessions in the beginning of the videos. And I totally got it. I know you guys want to get straight to the reading. However, the reason I do that is because we have new viewers all the time that are looking for personal readings or Reiki sessions and not every uh, channeler on YouTube offers that, right? They don't all offer personal readings or Reiki sessions. So I do offer them. I do put that information in the description box and the pinned comments, and I will continue to let people know. So just feel free to skip forward when that happens, okay? But uh, as much as I would like to take it out, people don't know. So if you are interested in personal reading or Reiki session, all the information is in the description box below. So Taurus Suns. <clears throat> Taurus Suns. Let's get into this here. April is going to be an exciting month. We are in the year of 2024, an eight-year year of abundance, infinite possibilities, big changes. Taurus stepping into their power. So let's see what we have. Whoa, okay, I can't even ask. So the divine is giving uh, Taurus sons a message in a bottle and a never-ending story. I love this. Taurus son, I love this. Because what this is saying is some information is coming in to you via text message, email, a friend calling you, whatever it might be, different for all of you. And it is going to be the end. Something big is ending in your life. It could be a financial struggle. It could be a relationship that's toxic. It could be a million things. But something is finally coming to an end. Some of you, to our sons, this message is coming to you. This message in a bottle is coming to you through spirit, okay, through spirit, an epiphany, a, a, a tower moment, um, meditation through dreams, really pay attention to your dreams, guys, okay, uh, daydreaming, night dreaming, your meditations, and it's going to bring some sort of stability into your life, okay, they're showing me all the numbers here, 37 is a 10, end of the cycle, something is done, you might be giving up a toxic habit, you know, and I don't mean that you're toxic. I mean, but there might be something that you're doing, eating bad or whatever, and you're done with it. But it's going to be different for all of you, Taurus sons. But you are definitely ending something. It's like you're done and you're fed up. And that's okay. That's good. It's like, and you can be fed up with yourself. You're like, I'm not, I'm not going to vape anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to be in this relationship anymore. I'm not going to be at this job anymore. Okay? That 10 is done. Then you have the 15, which is a six. Now you're making a better choice. You're going on a different path. Sixes are about going on the right path. And you are now being directed on this path that you are choosing to go on, okay, from this message, whether it's higher self, like I said, a text message, a phone call, an email, whatever, spirit. But when you get this message, you change direction. And listen, guys, you know I will always share my life with you. I'm an open book. I literally just had this happen. I literally just had this happen. Okay? Big, like, epiphany, awakening. Holy shit. I got to go in a new direction here. Okay? So you're going to get that information. And the beautiful thing about it is because you choose the new route, it brings in a lot more stability in your life. Okay, with this four, a ton of stability. Like I finally feel truly grounded as a Taurus, right? Because we need to feel that grounded. We need that sense of security in our lives. So that is all coming. 
you might already be experiencing a little bit of it, right? These readings go from a few days prior to when I do them to, you know, days after I do them. But you are definitely ending something and choosing a new path. And I think it might be the best decision you've ever made. Okay? It might be the best decision you've ever made. So let's get into the tarot. Oh my gosh, look at that tower right there. <laughs> I love that. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. That tower was facing the wrong direction. Not that that bothers me. I don't really go by that that much. Did I even shuffle? No. Let's shuffle. Being called up for something different. I just saw the judgment card. All right. Let's see what we have here for Taurus, please. Taurus Sun, don't forget to like, share, and comment, please. I'm trying to get this out into the YouTube al algorithm to lift up as many Taurians as we can. It is Taurus time right now. And we really need to band together with our energy. So, oh my, just flying out. Look at this, Four of Cups, you are done. You thought you wanted whatever this was. You're like, oh, this is where my happiness lies. This is where I should be. This is the relationship I should be in. This is the job I should be doing. This is all this stuff. But you're realizing, no, that's not what I want. That is not the cup I want. I thought I wanted it, but I don't want that cup anymore. You're over it. <laughs> Taurus, you're old. Taurus, son, you are over it. <laughs> Show me clearly what is the message. Okay. Yeah, see? Something's being revealed to you with this moon card, and we just had yesterday that eclipse, right? Lots of shifting of energy. Something is coming out. It doesn't have to be bad, just so you know. Like, whenever I get the moon card and we think of secrets and things of like that, everybody thinks that that's always bad. It's not, right? It's good. It's like, oh, I've learned something, so now I can move on, do this, do that. So I'm telling you, something is coming through, if it already hasn't, that really awakens you to the new journey. Loving this. Loving this. And it could be centered around, if you're watching this in April, instead of the end of March, it could be around this big, huge, new, new moon, right, in Aries, solar eclipse that's happening on April 8th. Like, big revelation. It's a big one, right? Eclipses intensify everything. So, show me clearly. What is the message, please? For Taurus Sun, angels, guides, ancestors, Taurus Sun, please. Yep, see, Page of Swords. You're learning something new. You're having epiphanies, ideas, you've researched or you get the news somehow, right? That book there, you're getting news somehow, that message. And it totally changes your view, your outlook, and your path. This is good, right? This is good, learning something good. I'm learning something good that is really shifting my energy. I absolutely, absolutely think this is going to be brilliant for you. I think April is going to be brilliant for you, Taurus Sun. Like, truly, truly, truly life-changing. Okay? Big. Yeah, very big. Let's see what else we have. Angels, guides, ancestors, show me clearly, please. Whoa. <laughs> it's like half the deck flew out. Hold on. Hold on, Taurus. <laughs> like literally half the deck just flew out of my hands. See what I mean? It's very explosive energy. And I take on the energy of the readings, the energy of you. So there's a lot of uh, excitement. I'm talking real fast, right? Because it's, it's, it's exciting in a good way. Okay? It's exciting. It's like, woo. Can't wait. Oh, see, I just got chills. <clears throat> Can't wait for this new life to start. Let's go. Ah, it's quite amazing. All right. Yeah, letting... Oh, look at you. Yeah, look at you. This is amazing to me with this Four of Pentacles. You are not holding on to anything that you thought was secure that proved you wrong. Right? Right? This job isn't secure. This relationship isn't secure. 
I'm willing to let go. I'm not fighting for this anymore. And what I mean by that is like you've put in enough effort, right? You put in enough effort and someone else, and they might be a Taurus rising, maybe not a Taurus sun, so they may not see this reading, but someone else commented too um, that they've been asking and asking and asking for the promotion and the raise at their job and they are not getting it. And this is where you let go. This is where you go, okay, so they don't know my value. I'm going to go find a new career, a new job. People will pay me my worth. Like you are not, we have a tendency to stick around too long. Right, Taurus? Be honest. Right? At jobs, in careers, in love, in friendships, we have a tendency to stick around too long. We want to make it work. You're done. You're like, hey, I gave it my all. And if you can't appreciate me, I guess it's time for me to move on. You have a new plan. You're, you're doing exit strategies here. Seven of Swords um, can be lying, cheating, stealing, and all of that. Yes, but I read intuitively. And for me, this is also a card of strategy and planning. And I think you're planning an exit strategy out of some sort of situation. And it's smart. 11-11 on the timer, right? It's smart. And you should. Because there's the new path. Show me clearly what is the message for Taurus, please. Taurus Sun, angels, guides, ancestors. Taurus Sun. Look at that. You are like, no more. Look at that Five of Swords. You're like, no more. Okay, I'm not going to do this anymore. Like, you are just so over this at this point. What I really love here, too, though, is the Five of Swords can be winning at all costs. And I do feel like you are stepping into this. It's time for me to win. It doesn't mean you're hurting anybody. You're not. Okay. This is just, I'm going to go do what's right for me. Right. And I'm not going to sit here and worry and stress or be in this environment anymore. I will say this for Taurus, son, you are done with the toxic environments, if you will. Right. The workplaces where everybody's bitching all the time about work or people are, you know, not being honest. Relationships, all of it. You're just like, you're done. You're over it. So over it. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups. There's your new beginning. You're going to get some sort of message. And again, that's going to come in so many different forms for you guys. But you're going to get a message. You're going to get a clearing. And it's going to lead you on this new path. And this is more of your higher truth where you truly want to be in your life. And it brings you a lot of joy, a lot of excitement, a lot of bliss, okay? You're just done. I don't know. You're just done. That's all I can say. You're done. And you know, if, as individuals, you know what this is for you. So let's see what else we have. This is like the love of a new career, love of a new job. This is a new lover coming in, romantic partner. This is new creative ideas for you. It's beautiful. Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus Sun for April of 2024. Oh, by the way, happy birthday to those of you who have April birthdays. Heck. Happy birthday to you, those of you who have made birthdays. Why would I just leave that to April birthdays? Happy birthday, Taurus. Any way you look at it, birthdays are coming up. Mine's on the 28th of April. I know a few of you out there have the same. All right. Dragonfly. Oh, I love this. Truth transcends illusion. You are seeing the truth. Okay? You are seeing the truth. You are seeing the truth. A lot of you are going to start seeing a lot of dragonflies, whether in real life, on your social media, wherever. Those are signs from your angels, guides, and ancestors. I do tell this story every once in a while. First of all, you have a 22 master builder. Over the next 20 years, because Pluto has now gone into Aquarius, Taurus, we are the builders of the new society. Okay? So you must take that responsibility. Also... Dragonflies are actually is one of my spirit animals. And there was one day last summer. I have pictures of it. It's ridiculous. I needed a sign. So I asked my spiritual team for a sign. I went into my kitchen the next morning 
and I never look up, I'm short, I'm not really looking at the ceiling, right? But I did, and above my cabinets was a dragonfly that I didn't even think was real because it was the size of my hand, literally the size of my hand. And I could not believe it. I, I, I was like, I had to get up on the step stool and like put my hand next to it, take pictures and be like, and then touch it to see if it was real. Like it was so incredible to me. And I feel like the divine is having me tell you that story because something bigger and incredible is what's meant for you. Okay? It's meant for you. Something bigger and more incredible. And look at this. This is why the end of the cycle is for you. Because you have the skunk spirit. You know your worth. Like you really know your worth. Taurus used to think they knew their worth. Now you really know your worth. You know what you bring to the table. Your standards are way high. As they should be. I'm loving this for you, Taurus, son. Loving this for you, Taurus, son. Let's see what else we have here. Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus, son. What is the message for April of 2024, please? Ooh. Radi I love this. Radical gratitude. It says here, radical gratitude is when you stand in the center of what you have, especially the challenges, Open your heart and drop to your knees in awe at how blessed you are. Regardless of what other people have, realize your life is the one you choose. This is where you really start having appreciation for your spiritual team, okay? For the challenges you've been through because it's taught you and it's had you grow. For the message that is coming in. For the fact that you have a roof over your head and you are like, okay, I see it. I am very blessed. You understand now that the more you give gratitude, the more you get. Okay? Very important that you blend these things, right? Because, you know, that's so funny. They had me pause because I'm going to tell you. I just had a big ending in my life. A big ending. Big tower moment. Big, oh my gosh. And you know what? I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for it. Was it easy? No. Was it enlightening? Yes. Be grateful. And more grateful, more grateful, more blessings are going to come in for you, Taurus son. This is an amazing reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. I read each and every one. And all of my love, light, and blessings to you, Taurus Sun. Until next time.